Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm a sewaholic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, It's So Tanji, or welcome if you're new here. I am back from London. Um, I have been actually for three days, sadly. I came back on Sunday evening and um, today is Wednesday and I'm filming my Stitch Festival haul and I also hope to upload the video today. Um, I have seen already a few vlogs from other YouTubers who filmed their Stitch Festival hauls and I very much enjoyed them. And as you can see, I bought quite a lot of fabrics and also um, patterns and haberdashery and that kind of stuff. Um, I saved for a few months for this trip. <laughs> so I had quite a lot of money, at least for me, to spend, which was so, so nice. And um, unfortunately, I don't have any footage to share with you from the day. I don't even have a photo of me in my um, outfit because it was just all so exciting that I completely forgot to take pictures or to film or anything, basically. just I was just in the mood to buy fabrics and my partner was with, was with me and he was very patient with me. Um, and we spent the most lovely day on Friday at the Stitch Festival. We were there at, um, I think, 5 to 10. And there was actually a queue around the buildings to get into the Business and Design Center in Islington. And um, yeah, it was quite nice to be there so early because in the beginning, there were not as much people, so I could get a bit of an overview um, what was there. And then it got very, very crowded later. And I think we were there until half past two or three, so not the whole day, but honestly, it was enough for us both. We were just tired and hungry and um, hot because of all the people and the crowd. So that was quite an intense experience, but honestly, I had the best day. In general, I enjoyed my trip to London very much. Um, it's my happy place, not London, but Great Britain or the UK in general is definitely my happy place. And we had a lovely Airbnb and the Stitch Festival day was my highlight of our um, long weekend trip, definitely. And I will be back. I'm even thinking about going to the knitting and stitching show, I think it is, in October, um, because it was so nice. It was, it was just so nice to be surrounded by so many people from the community that really share a passion with me. And honestly, I was super shy and I saw some people I knew from like YouTube or Instagram and I was just too shy to say hello, but there was a very, very nice coincidence at um, the end of our day at the Stitch Festival, which was, um, or I have to explain the whole story. So Sarah from So Sarah Style, um, she offered to send me some of her remnant fabric that I really liked. And I was happy and said, yes, please. And then um, she realized that sending a parcel from the UK to Europe is quite a problem because of Brexit and it probably won't arrive. So it would be better to give it to me on the Stitch Festival. But she was there on Saturday and I was on Friday. And so she sent the parcel to Katie from whatever Katie sews. And Katie was there on the Friday and she then handed me the parcel, which was amazing. And um, Katie called me on the telephone when uh, at around two, I think, and she said, hey, I'm here and um, I have your fabric. And um, she was waiting for me and she was with, and I hope I don't forget anyone, she was with Kara from So So Mad. She was with Angela from Love and Thread Tales. Um, there was Sam from So Let's Sparkle with Sam. There was Rachel um, and have I forgotten anyone? 
I'm not sure. I hope I don't. But I will link everyone and Katie, of course, I will link everyone down below because it was honestly so, so nice to meet these ladies in person. I follow all of them um, on Instagram and on YouTube and watch their videos. And yeah, it was just or you just feel like you know these people, but you have never met them. And um, it was like super, super nice to meet them in person and they were all very lovely. So that was definitely a highlight as well. And I think that was about it. I was super sad to leave the Stitch Festival. I could have stayed there for the whole weekend, I think, just sitting in a corner and watching. Um, it was just a overall very, very nice experience. And it was quite hard to get home afterwards. I mean, home to Austria, because yeah, the, the community spirit of sewing is not as great here as it is in the UK. I feel like there are a lot of socials and that kind of stuff um, that we don't really have here. I've talked about that before, I think. But before I ramble too much, um, let's get on to what I bought. And I will put timestamps down below. So if you're only interested in the fabrics, you can skip to that part or if you're only interested in the haberdashery part then you can um, just watch that. I think I will start with patterns and haberdashery just because um, it is right next to me and I will I want to get it out of the way. Um, so I'll yeah I'll just start. I got three moon threads from Bombay Fabrics I think and excuse me I don't know where I bought all of this stuff because it was just so crowded and I just went from one stand to the other and didn't even realize which stand it was sometimes. So yeah, I just got a black, a white and a green that I know um, I use a lot but don't, don't really have in my stash. So that's very boring. Um, then something happened to me. Um, I bought scissors and also a... Um, seam ripping tool and a normal seam ripper and I realized that I only have hand luggage and you are not allowed to put these things into your um, hand luggage on the plane but a friend of mine who we met there he um, is a very good friend but he lives in Vienna and he's from the area I'm from um, he had the he, he could check in his baggage or his luggage and so I asked him if it would be okay um, to give him my scissors and and all the uh, the seam rippers, and then he would just bring them to me the next time he's here in um, Vorarlberg, or he will probably send them to by post to me, but they haven't arrived yet. So these three things are not with me, but I got a pair of Fiskers scissors. I have enough scissors, but I just wanted to have another pair. And I don't own the Fiskers ones and I was eager to try them. So I got a smaller pair than the normal sized um, fabric scissors and I will insert pictures. Then I got a special overlock seam ripper kind of thing, which I've never seen before, but seemed super handy for um, yeah, just seam ripping overlocker um, seams. And then I just got a very normal seam ripper, quite a sturdy one. I think you can never have enough of these. And um, this seemed quite, yeah, like a big substantial um, seam ripper. So I also got that one. And then I got another pair. Uh, I am like a scissor addict, I think. I got another pair of small scissors. I use these to just cut off threads at the, at the end of the sewing process or the overlocker thread for example and these are green and I don't have green scissors and green is my favorite color so these are speckled green scissors and they were also from the same stand that I got the other scissors and the other um, tools from and then also from there I got a choco pen and honestly I heard everyone um, in the community talking about them and using them but you can't find them here in Austria, at least I haven't seen them yet. And so I decided to just try the white one. And if I like it, I will probably get some more either on 
Amazon probably or um, at my next trip to the UK, which I hope is coming up um, sooner rather than later. And then, as I said, there's three tools from before. And then, sorry for the wrestling, I also got a few little goodies. I got um, one pack of labels. Honestly, I should have gotten more labels, but I don't know what happened. I think I was just overwhelmed. But um, I got these Keep Growing labels by What Vicky Made. And I bought them um, at the stand she shared with Pigeon Wishes. And I talked to Vicky, she was super nice. She commented or complimented my dress, which is the No Me 2016, the green one I made. And we talked about that she made it as well, but that it looked very different and what kind of fabric I made it in. And it was just very geeky, um, a very geeky um, sewing conversation, which I loved and yeah. Then I got these super cute labels from her and I also I told her um, that I follow her on Instagram and that I've seen her stuff and yeah it was very nice and then there was a little shop called I have her card here um, Kate Blandford and she makes very very cute little um, sewing gadgets or yeah I would call them sewing gadgets the first one is a needle minder and it is a black cat. We have two black cats, so this one fits perfectly. And I don't have a needle minder, so this is my first one. I'm not really sure how often I will use it, and I'm also not quite sure um, how to. I mean, I know how to use it, but in what instance to use it? Maybe when I sew on buttons or when I do cross stitching, probably. And then I got this cute little, um, I don't know what you call it, like a hanger? No, that's, no, no. I will just show you and you, and you will <laughs> know what I mean. Um, you can hang it on your fabric scissors, basically, and it says fabric only, which I think is very, very cool. And I will choose a pair to hang this one on. Honestly, I should have gotten more because I have a lot of fabric scissors, but this one um, will go on one of them and then I can, maybe she has an online store, so I can, could order some more. Yeah, I think she has kateblandford.com and this is her little card. Okay, um, so then on two patterns. I was completely inspired by Adele from So For Serenity. She is a big lover of Seasons of East patterns and she is very right. They have just the cutest packaging. I mean, this little, um, this little bag is so cute and I got the Spring in London off the shoulder t-shirt and um, yeah, I thought it was just perfect. I love the off the shoulder look, I love the oversized tee look, I love t-shirts, um, it, it is the spring in London and I was there at spring in London, so what not to love. I mean, I got it um, after I found also the perfect fabric for it, which will I share, which I will share with you a bit later. Sorry, I can't talk today. I think I'm just too excited. Um, but yes, I got the um, spring in London t-shirt. I have a black, um, just a black fake wool standard winter coat that I wear a lot. It is from H&M. It is two years old, I think, and it is perfectly fine, but the quality is not the best. And I would like to make myself a very classic black or maybe dark green coat myself from a nice wool fabric and a very nice lining and I found the perfect pattern um, which is the Nomi 2001 and it is this one. There was only one left in my size range and I think it is just it looks exactly like the coat I already have so I know I love the style 
and there is also the trouser pattern included which i will honestly probably not make but the coat seemed perfect and then um i visited the fabric godmother um stand and they had many beautiful fabrics but i was very very um how do you say it? I thought very, very carefully about which fabrics I got just because I want to love all of them and I really want to know what to do with them and also know that they fit my style. And they were just maybe a bit too floral and I love florals, but no, it wasn't floral. It was maybe just a bit too bold, a bit too colorful. And I love bold and colorful, but I realized that the pieces that are too bold and colorful I don't wear as often. Um, the more, the more maybe casual and laid back pieces are the ones I wear over and over again. And so I decided against buying one of their fabrics, but they had the hazel dress by Veronica Tucker hanging there in one of their beautiful fabrics. And I fell in love with um, how it looked and the pattern and um, they had it there so I got it and it is this tiered dress um, very floaty and I think it will be very very nice for spring and summer and I have one potential fabric here in my haul that I can make this from okay so that was all the patterns then I got a little cross stitch kit. I love cross stitch. Um, I had many kits before. They were all from hobby crafts um, and quite small ones and one that is too big for me to finish, honestly. But I saw this one and I just had to get it. And it is by the Make Arcade. They have the most beautiful kits and designs. But I decided to go for this one. And it says it is what it is and it is green and pink and it has roses on it i mean this is this just screams tanya to be honest and um, it is what it is is something my best friend and i say a lot um when i i don't know life life has been crazy the last two years for the both of us and sometimes not crazy good but not so good <laughs> Um, and sometimes we just say it, it is it is what it is and there is even a song by one of uh, by, by a pop singer and she sings it is what it is and that's our kind of um, jam I guess and so I had to get this kit and I will probably start it now that I've shown you it and I'm super excited about this one then before we come to the fabrics I want to share um, Two books with you and something i got at liberties as well so we can end this video with all the fabrics when we left the stitch festival we passed a little bookshop and i am i love books almost as much as i love fabrics and i guess that they knew that the knitting and stitching show was happening just a few meters further down the road and so they had a lot of fashion books um, outside on a little table and of course I bought two of them they were only 10 pounds each which i think is great for these kinds of books and the first one is big dress energy by shakila forbes bell i hope i pronounced it correctly and it says how fashion psychology can transform your wardrobe and your confidence and i'm super into psychology and i'm also super into fashion of course and so i got this one and then I got 500 patterns, which is um, just like basically a book about different patterns, about textile design, um, their, like their heritage, where these um, patterns come from, and then lots and lots of examples, which I think is so interesting. And I just love these kinds of books. So yes, I also got this one and on the back it says 25 pounds so i got it for 10 which is amazing to be honest yeah so two books and then on the next day we quickly visited liberty and i made a beeline for the haberdashery and fabric section and 
I saw a fabric that I can't get out of my mind. It was like blurred flowers. And I didn't get it just because they're so expensive and I bought already so, man, so much fabric. Um, but I decided to treat myself to two little haberdashery items, which I'm super happy about. And they, um, I got this little cute Liberty bag. And the first one, believe it or not, is another pair of scissors, but these are so cute because they come in this, um, let me open it. They come in this little case with the Liberty fabric. And then the scissors themselves are these small ones, but they hang here on the case. And just think they were so, so cute. And yeah, maybe the 20th pair of scissors I own. But then there is something I don't really own. I mean, I own pin cushions, but mostly the magnetic ones. They're super handy. So yeah, but I don't own a real pin cushion and I saw this little I don't know is it an apple I have no idea but I love the fabrics on it and I think it is just so pretty and yeah I got this little pin cushion from Liberties or Liberty very happy with these purchases but now on to the fabrics I think this is going to be a long video and I will just, there's no particular order. I will tell you where I got them from when I remember and how much I got and my plans if I have them. The first one is one of my favorite fabrics I got at the knitting and not the knitting and stitching show, the stitch festival. And it is this cotton fabric from um, Rosenberg and Sons, which I think is stitch fabrics. I was so eager to visit this um, stand because I can't order from them online. It costs 30 pounds to ship to me, but I know that they have a lot of dead stock designer fabrics um, from designers I love. And this one is a Dolce & Gabbana fabric. It was hanging on a roll um, above the stand and I asked how much was left and how much it cost and I think it was um, 14 pounds a meter it is pure cotton and I got three meters more a bit more because there was a bit more on the roll left and I got it and I think it is just the most beautiful print honestly the roses and yeah the colors I love it so much and I love Dolce and Gabbana is one of my favorite brands my one of my favorite aesthetics and um, to get this one is just amazing to be honest and i don't really know what to do with it because i want to think about it very carefully this is super precious to me i already washed it i washed almost all of them so they are a bit crinkled excuse that but yeah i just i'm in love with this fabric so then from also um rosenberg and sun i got the second fabric that i love and i think was it the first purchase of today i don't know but this one is a fabric I saw um, on Adele's channel on, on Beck's channel and it is a Ralph Lauren fabric and it is a needle cord. I'm not a big fan of needle cord. I've never sewn with it and I think I've never bought it. But I mean, this print, I love the Ralph Lauren bear. My partner and I, we both do. And it's a winter bear. He skis. We love skiing. Um, and then also the um, checked background the, is in one of my favorite, um, what is it called? Black, is it a black watch tartan? At least it has the same colors. So yeah. Um, and it is just, how cool is this fabric? Sorry, one of the fabrics shed everywhere, but yeah. And I got two meters of, uh, of this one and this will be will will go into the stash for next winter and it will either become a pair of wide leg trousers or um, i thought about a um, mini skirt and a heather blazer set not sure if i have enough but i think i do 
or maybe a pinafore dress but i don't usually wear them so I, i'm not sure if that's the best idea but yeah many ideas for this one i think the blazer and mini skirt combo would be super cute to be honest but yeah let's wait until winter 2024 then the next fabric um i honestly don't remember what the shop was called i'm very sorry i just know that i bought this one with this pattern in mind so the t-shirt and it is a i think it is either a heavier weight viscose jersey or a very lightweight cotton jersey but i think it is a viscose jersey maybe it also has some modo in it that would be amazing to be honest and it is this um yeah this snake print jersey and i got one meter i hope i can fit the t-shirt out of it it says one and a half meters on the back but i hope i can do and when i saw this i thought of sarah from so sarah style i i'm not sure if i'm 100 percent correct but i think this is something she would like and wear and i just um, think the very neutral tones are amazing and this will be a t-shirt that is just a very great basic to have in my wardrobe so that's that then next up we have maybe the wild card from all of my haul and this is related to one of my other hobbies which is horse riding and i got it from rainbow fabrics it is a viscose quite a i would say a viscose drill it's also pre-washed and hence a bit creased but i got two meters for of this one and it is a black background with all these cowboy boots on it and um i'm normally an english rider but i have started riding western style which honestly i prefer and it is so casual and relaxed and the horses are very relaxed and i plan on buying a pair of cowboy boots or western boots for riding and then i will make myself a little blouse out of this one maybe a marnie blouse maybe a button-up style and then i can wear it with my jeans and my western boots and go horse riding and i think that will be amazing to be honest and that's why i got this fabric normally i probably wouldn't wear it but with the riding in mind i basically had to get it and as i said from rainbow fabrics and i think it was 10 pounds um the next fabric i had to laugh because yesterday i watched um becky's stitch festival haul from what Beck sews and i could have known that she bought this fabric also it is another viscose but it is a very lightweight um satiny viscose and it is pink and it is red and this is just the best color combination ever besides pink and green probably but yeah it has this these swirls almost flowery print on on it and a very interesting texture to it and i got i think one and a half meters because i plan to make a pair of wide legged like palazzo pants um for spring summer to wear with basic t-shirts that's my kind of thing for um spring and also for summer if it's not too hot but yeah i love this fabric i think it is gorgeous it would also make a very very nice slip dress like the sicily slip dress for example so maybe i change my mind and will make that one but it will probably um be made into trousers and that is also the plan for the next fabric which is the last one i think that i got from um stitch fabrics or rosenberg and sons and this is a um silk fabric and i jenny from from stitch fabrics cut it for me and honestly i asked her um, i i bought the ralph lauren one and then um, i saw this one and asked her what is that fabric over there can i see it before i um, purchase the ralph lauren one and she just pulled it over and said oh it's so 
gorgeous and we talked about it and then she explained to me that it is silk and it is i think 35 pounds per meter which i would normally never buy but honestly it was the stitch festival i saved money and i fell in love with the fabric and jenny was so excited that i was also very excited <laughs> and it is an italian silk I think it could also be X designer. Um, it reminds me very much of Pucci. And I got one and a half meters because this one will also be made into trousers. Maybe the saguaro trousers or um, the Pietra pants. I'm not sure yet, but I think it will look gorgeous with a white t shirt or a cream t shirt. Um, and yeah, it is a very substantial silk, a very, very high quality silk. And I just love it because I don't love the very flimsy, um, chiffony type, um, silks. They're very hard to work with, but I think this one will be a joy to work with. And I, I also just think it is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen. So. This one was my splurge of the day, definitely. And then on to a very cheap fabric, which is apparently a viscose and um, cotton mix. This one was from Bombay Fabrics, I think. It feels very polyester -y to me. I didn't do the burn test, but I guess they didn't lie. I asked the guy there if it is really viscose and um, cotton. And it has a lilac background and then these beautiful, beautiful flowers, which I think could be um, peonies. And yeah, I just think this is a very nice fabric. And it was pre-cut, it's two meters. And this will probably be made into a dress or, yeah, I think it will definitely be made into a dress. But I'm not quite sure yet what kind of dress. I just got this one because it was cheap. It was eight euros and because I, I liked it, of course, but it was eight euros, so I couldn't leave it behind. So I got that one. Lots of flowers also, but that's kind of my thing. This fabric here is the one that Sarah from So Sarah Style gifted me. And it was so nice of her to give it to me, honestly. And it is a mesh fabric. I have never worked with mesh fabrics. And it is this nude base, and then it has these Asian motifs on it in black. I know that Sarah used it the wrong way around because then it seems more like a green print. Um, I will probably use the right side, to be honest. I think I got maybe a meter, maybe a bit more here. And I will do something very similar to um, what Sarah did. I will, I think she did that on it. Yeah, not sure, but I think she did, yes. Um, I will just make a long sleeve top with maybe a bit of a turtleneck and like something like the Freya and um, then maybe wear a cute black bralette underneath, something like that. But I think it will be a very cool look. And this was or is a very special fabric because I got it from Sarah. It smells lovely, to be honest. She has very nice um, washing liquid or um, powder. Then four more to go. <laughs> then I got a linen fabric and I want specifically wanted a gingham fabric to make a pair of Pietra pants um, out of. And I wanted a gingham that was quite neutral in the sense of color so that I can pair lots of different tops with it during spring and summer. And I was not sure if I would need to go for a viscose linen maybe or a cotton, but then I saw this linen here and I'm not sure. Maybe I got it from Sew Me Something. Not even sure if they sell fabrics, but it could have been their stand. Um, but it is a pure linen and I got one and a half meters. It is quite wide. And it is just a black, uh, not black, a blue and white, very lovely quality linen that will be perfect made into a pair of trousers. Gingham trousers seem to be very in this year. At least they show up on my Pinterest all over. And I love all the looks I get to see. So 
this will be made in a pair into a pair of trousers. Then there is a very special fabric. This is, I think, a shakar fabric. And um, I got it from Pigeon Wishes. And it is, yeah, it, it, it is just, it speaks for itself, I think. It is super special. It has tigers and zebras on it and a very nice, very nice texture. And I also got one and a half meters of this one and I want to make a jacket. I preferably want to make a jacket with kind of a shawl collar. Um, and I found one on the fold line, which I liked, but I am not sure because that one is unlined. So I don't know. I would like to have a jacket that is perfect for the kind of weather we have right now. It is not cold, but it is not warm. And um, I wear a lot of quilted jackets at the moment. So I'm thinking about quilting this one, but let me know, guys. Do you think quilting would ruin the whole shakar um, effect and also the print? I, I'm really not sure if it would work, to be honest. I really am not. But if I could quilt it, then I could back it with just a black fabric and do the shawl um, kind of style jacket anyways. But it would be much warmer than just using this one layer of fabric so yeah let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions for patterns for this one then last one from rainbow fabrics and i got three meters of this one it is a very nice cotton and it is the most beautiful floral um, green and blue print the guy at the um, rainbow fabric stand he told me that this one sold super quickly so I grabbed three meters and this one could be made into the Veronica Tucker um, hazel dress I think that this would look quite nice what do you think so I have enough fabric so that should work definitely and yeah Otherwise, it will probably just go into the stash. But this one is also a fabric that I am quite sure I will still like in a few years or in a year, let's say. Um, not that I want to leave it in my stash for that long. But then, last fabric, I swear. And this one is a just a quilted matte black fabric. It is only, um, it has the wadding on one side, but not the double fabric it is not double-sided um, and I am not sure did I oh no I got this one from trend um, you know trend patterns they also have fabrics and I got um, this one from them and I want to make a gilet out of this one and I got a very nice cotton leopard print fabric in my stash that I want to use for the other side and then probably also bind it in the leopard fabric and also make the ties out of the leopard fabric. But the idea is to make it fully reversible. So I already got a pattern, but I just have to work out how I do the fully reversible kind of thing. Um, just because it is only, um, it has only has the fabric on one side and I would probably need to, to sew two different chiles and then put them together and bind them around the edges and connect them that way. I don't know, just I'm thinking aloud, but I got one meter of this one because that should be enough for the chile. But that's everything. And I think that is quite a lot. And it was a super successful trip, to be honest, to the UK. And as I said, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below um, what, which fabric you like the most, what you think about my haul, if you've been to the Stitch Festival, um, what did you think about it? And yeah, just chat with me in the comments down below and leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So take care guys, bye.